Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I will be showing you how to create stamps from our dies as well as how to color the stamped image. So I have a lot of samples, like three different samples here and they're all different techniques. So I'm going to work with the rose die, which comes with an overlay, solid, and a bird in overlay, a solid, and then the stem and a leaf. Uh, I'm only using the overlay for this technique. So what I did first, I had a piece of uh, craft foam with the adhesive on the back already and I did run it through my die cutting machine. If you die cut the foam you need to use the metal adapter plate or a precision plate. And here I have some samples, so these are cards I created using the stamp. And here, so this is a card using the negative and embossing powder, I'm going to show you that as well, the technique. And then this one is a um, different technique. So I also made a stamp for the, from the leaf from the rose, that's this one. And I stamped it first, background is oxides, the, uh, the distress oxides, I used that ink for the background. And then um, I did different techniques here, like uh, stamping the outside first, then I stamped the inside and used embossing powder, and then colored on top with the Copic markers. So just really play, just ex experiment. That's the fun thing with, the, with all the color mediums. So this is the one I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, the background is the uh, Distress Oxides as well. And then I have two pieces here of clear acetate. I'll put it on the black because it's easier to see here. And then here I have my uh, die, so I already run it through. And I want to make two stamps. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to leave it together. And then I'm going to take my tweezer and I'm going to only lift up the release sheets from the solid parts. And I leave the part for the outline on. And that is how I can make a positive and a negative. And with it, when you die cut the, uh, the foam, it's actually very easy. It's, it stays together very nicely. So you make two stamps, the outline and the overlay, with one run through your die cutting machine. I should have started in the center, that's easier. So now I have that. Then I'm going to stick this to the acetate. And then press it down and then I'm going to lift up my outline because that's that still has the release sheet on there. So make sure all those pieces, and I can actually just take this off first. So I'm taking the outline off first. That will work as well. And then I'm going to take off the release sheet. You see, so now all those pieces from the negative are there. And that's exactly in the place it needs to be. There you go, and I can just stick this one on here. I'm going to probably put it upside down and just Stick this on here, so that's my outline stamp, and now I only need to remove, I can probably leave it as well, but I'm going to remove the release sheet from the back from the outline. There we go. Make sure you don't pick up the pieces, of course. There we go, I need to watch that small one in the center. There we go. And then you have two stamps ready to go. There you go. And then I have two stamping blocks. I could probably use it like this, but I like to put it on stamping blocks just with a piece of double-sided adhesive. Easier to use and then I can um, take it off again when I'm done. That's easy. The back. Stick it on here. I could just trim it on the side here. Size of the block. And my stamps are ready to go. So and I will use the outline first. So I have the ink here. And when you use the stamp, when you use black, uh, it's hard to clean this. So if you want to use another color, you should make another stamp. Let me just put this one here. Press it down really well. And then you have your stamped image. And then I'm going to color, and what I did is, so I have two water brushes here filled with uh, Distress uh, Spray Stain. So I have the Barn Door and the Spiced Marmalade. And that is such a fun technique, and to give it a little sparkle, which is hard to see on the, on the camera probably, but I use the Wink of Stella here from Zig, and it's a pink one that I use here. 
and you just color away. So you just add some color. And this is so much fun to do, I'll tell you. And a little bit of the red. And then I go back with a lighter color. So I have all those, like I have a lot of water brushes filled with distress stains. Because it's so much fun to use. And it goes fast as well. So just color. And it works beautiful on that uh, background with the oxides because it shows through a little bit. So you see the, like the structure from the paper, like the pattern. You see it a little bit through the ink. Just make that center a bit lighter. So much fun to do. So that's that. You see, and then I can add something. So I can add another rose or I can add, just add a text. Whatever you like to do. Just a really fun and relaxing way to work. And then I'm going to show you how to use the solid as well. So here I have uh, a gold one and a sparkly uh, red one already. So I have a piece of cardstock. I have my clear embossing pad. Press it down. And because I stamp with clear here, I can use this one over and over again because it has no color on it. So you just use different colors of embossing powder. And here I have the, what's this, the earth tone grape. So we get a purple rose. There we go. And then I'm going to heat this. That's it. Let me bring in the samples to show you the different ones I showed you in the beginning. So this is te the technique with the outline and then coloring with the different, the, like the spray stains or the Wink of Stella. This is the one that I have uh, stamped the leaves as well. So I made a stamp of the leaf from the rose set. And then this one is the, so I stamped the or the solid in a white, with white embossing powder, colored on top with the Copic markers, and I stamped the outline in black as well. And then this one are just the solid. So I just use this one with embossing powder, and then I traced it a little bit with the white gel pen. Thank you for watching. I've suggested a couple of videos I think you enjoy as well. And don't forget to download the project sheet. See you next time.